Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, we are having dirty rice. I have had this in my pantry for a while. Um, if you've been with our channel for a while, you know a couple of weeks ago I tried to make some dirty rice. It was a different brand and it did not turn out at all. So we are having Tony Sasseries tonight, tried and true favorite. I made mine with um, pork sausage, breakfast sausage, and added some green onions to it. And then we had some leftover collard greens from Easter, so we are having those quick and easy dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time hey guys so another beautiful day in texas and so we're just grilling some burgers and right behind us i am um, deep frying some french fries doing it outside because it just gets i don't know i don't like all the smoke and grease in the house so i'll come back when we have everything all plated up Okay, so here is dinner. And by the way, the patties were in the freezer. I think I mentioned before that my parents got us an Omaha steak package for Christmas and it had different types of meat. But this is Howard's plate. He um, has avocado, tomato. We've got some cheddar cheese slices and he likes his bun plain. Are you putting like condiments on it and stuff? No. Nope. No condiments this time. And this is my plate. I'm a plain Jane and I like my bun toasted and buttered. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having chicken salads. Whenever I don't feel like cooking, I either do a breakfast for dinner or one of these salads. So in my freezer, I have this bag of Just Bear chicken and it's actually really good. However, the problem is, I'm the only one in my household that eats it. So um, I use it on this salad. I just cook them and chop them up, add it to the salad. And I also boiled an egg and added that as well for our dressing. Howard likes the spicy French and then I like the Olive Garden. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making pizza. I went to Kroger to pick up just a few things and they had this on clearance. I have never tried this before. As you can see, it was only a buck and it doesn't expire until the 18th. And it originally was, well, they don't have the original price on here, but I'm sure it was more than a dollar. So I've got that. I already had some pizza sauce in the refrigerator. I had some pepperoni that I froze and then I had half a bag of cheese in the freezer as well okay so here is the pizza I let it bake for 18 minutes the instruction said um, 16 to 20 minutes and I tasted a little bit of the crust and it doesn't have the sweetness that Pillsbury has to it <clears throat> excuse me and this crust is just slightly larger than the Pillsbury crust let me try to show you the bottom of the crust here. This is what it looks like. And it came with that parchment paper. This was actually rolled up in that parchment paper and then you just unroll it on the pan and it's pretty easy to do. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am going to be kind of making up a dish based on stuff that I had in my pantry and freezer. So in my pantry, I had these chow mein noodles. I've had them for a while, and I'm just gonna cook them according to package directions. I had a package of coleslaw, and then in my freezer, I had this um, chicken breast meat, and it's thin cut, kind of like, as you can see, kind of like, um, like Philly cheesesteak type meat, so it cooks really, really quickly. I've got some green onions, and then I have this, um, wonton soup mix that I picked up from H Mart, which is a Korean grocery store. So I'm gonna use this as a seasoning. I don't know what else I'll need to add. I don't know if it's gonna be dry or not, but let's get started. Okay, so here is dinner. Just a little tip. These noodles cook really, really quickly. I don't think I was prepared for that. So I think these are slightly overcooked. 
The flavor is good, the chicken's good, everything's good, except the noodles aren't the best. So I would probably just stick with my pre-cooked Asian noodles like I normally do, or I would use like spaghetti or, or pasta or other some, some other type of pasta. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.